Okay, not super complicated, but you just tie it right back here. She can still lick if she wanted to. She can still smell, but now she's not going to bite me. All right? She might in a minute because I'm about to do some other stuff. Right. <laughs> the other thing is, um, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to try and put this tourniquet on her. She's like, what are you doing? Well, she doesn't want to pick her paw. That's fine. What did you guys learn? Open it up and work it around. Now, does this look like I'm going to be able to get good compression? No. I told you I wasn't going to be able to do this. So, this is why I have my little friend. Okay, what else is this good for with a dog? You find a, ra a random dog, now you got a leash. <laughs> All right, so anyways, that's great. Will she wait on for me? Okay. That's why I hire Again, smarter people than me. I people are going to believe it up standing up. So, same kind of thing. I'm going to keep this nice and wide. I'm going to go high up on her limb. All right? I'll do it for real for just a minute. She'll be like, uh, Okay, but it's super tight, but if she was bleeding, okay, and I would tuck it the same way. When I get to the very end, if she's being a good dog, I'd still tuck it just like with everything else. So, you can see that I was getting a little bit of hourglass shape up here on this tissue, or even back here on her back leg. Now this, I might be able to get a cat on, right? But, I'm going to have pretty good success with this holding in there. Can I pack a wound with her? I pack a wound. Just lay it down for okay. you. Okay. And then I use this for a pressure dressing to hold that in place. Okay. Is she going to understand direct pressure? No. no. She's going to try and wiggle and giggle. So, again, we have to kind of do the same thing we would with the kid. All right. And pet them and tell them it's going to be okay and give them some peanut butter. And, you know, I don't know where you're getting peanut butter from, but, you know, I won't judge. <laughs> Is this going to work? Probably not. No. Not this portion, but the plastic one. If she has a chest wound, and I hold this here, is she gonna have the same trouble breathing? Yeah, okay, and what, the last group, how do I hold this in place with the wiggling and moving all around? I hold this down like this and I wrap it around her, okay? If it means somebody has to pick her up or if I have to do something else, okay, I can wrap it around her and hold that wound, um, that chest seal, that improvised chest seal in place. And again, I'm not wrapping hard, okay? Because wrapping around the chest, you know, nobody likes that. Okay? Well, that's why we didn't practice the turning around the chest. But if I'm just trying to hold that thing in place, every time she tries to breathe in, and I'm kind of wrapping up and then I'm wrapping down, I hold it in place, and then I come to the very, very end, and I tuck it, it's not super tight, but if she was gonna wiggle around, walk around, okay, that's probably gonna stay because it's sticking to itself. And I don't have to worry about the adhesive nature of this sticking to it. But if it's on her belly or it's less hairy, yeah, I'm going to use this, right? Or if you just have a piece of plastic, plastic bag, okay? And believe it or not, this now becomes two or more. I can rip this bag open and I can use it on both sides. So if your dog um, you know, steps on something, has something else bleeding or whatever else, you can use the SWAT T. Um, if they have a wound in the chest that you need to seal up, same concept. I mean, there's really, the, the canine vet that trained me says it's a small frame female. It's a 70 pound female, okay? Mm -hmm. So you give the same meds, you do CPR, would be somewhat similar. Come on, can you lay down for me? <laughs> so from her position back here, because uh, if I start doing CPR from here, she's going to scoot across the floor. So you get your knees along their spine, and you would do the compressions from this side, okay? Because now you're just pushing down into the ground. Same depth as you would for the child, okay? Almost two inches of compression, depending upon the size of the dog. For this dog, I would, I would do about an inch and a half, all right? But can they bleed from their tail? Yeah. This ain't going to work, okay? This, I might have to pack, I might have to do things. She's like, oh, I don't trust you back there. <laughs> um, but could I put a SWAT T on their tail? Yeah. So what's really cool is it's very similar. Now, I'm not using the leash. I'm not using the collar. If I needed to, I could use the leash as a hasty muzzle, okay, and crossing it and then tying it back behind them. That's the most important thing is getting it underneath so they can still drink, they can still lick, they're less inclined to bite. That's what the leash is for, not for a tourniquet, okay? 
you have one of these, or at least you should. All right, I don't get any kickbacks from H and H with these, but like going into schools and teaching this stuff, this is, keep one on the um, the, the fairing on my motorcycle. It's my first turn to keep one on the motorcycle because it's right here. So if I if I get hurt myself, I get separated from the bike. Just grab my gun and shoot me. But not because I love that bike. But if I come up to somebody else and I'm grabbing that and I'm going, do I? Have, yeah, I've got my back back here. Leave the torque back here. Um, but yeah, so this is just some quick, dirty kind of things um, when it comes to canines because they know. Okay, but it's super tight. But if she was bleeding, okay, and I would tuck it the same way when I get to the very end, because she's being a good dog, I still tuck it just like with everything else. So. See that I was getting a little bit of hourglass shape up here on this tissue, or even back here on her back leg. Now this, I might be able to get a cat on, right? But I'm gonna have pretty good success with this.